the Asian Sea, he left Maesk as and of his one of his king, kinsmen, along with one thousand troops in Cappadocia, wow. 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 and returned to Armenia. He ordered the inhabitants of that land to le learn the Armenian speech and language. Right. That is why. Hmm? Mm -hmm. That is why, to this day, the Greeks call this land Proton Armenia, yeah. which translated means First Armenia. Right. And the town that Miss Arms Governor built and fortified, where he named it after him, the old inhabitants of that town called Mekzek. As it seemed, they were unable to properly pronounce it. Later, it was an large by others and was called Caesarea. Bronze model of a war chariot from Lori Bird, 2nd million BC. A silver bowl mm -hmm. found in Karshub 20, right. 22. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Statue of Assyrian King Salzmanazar. Salzmanazar III, 859 to 824 BC, on display in the Istanbul Archaeological Museum. Or a stat showing Hittad King Madas on his chariot hunting a stag, accompanied by a hunting dog with a Hittite Luwian geographic inscription from Melitha. Neo Hittite expire. Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> Six BC uh, on display in uh, the Louvre. That's right. <clears throat> it is interesting that the addition of Aram's historic deeds, we learn in the account that the Armenian patriarch orders the subjunctin Cappadocians to learn the Armenian speech language. This, of course, could only be possible through the existence of the Armenian written language. That is, the ancient, the account can be counted amongst the evidence supporting the existence of an Armenian writing system in ancient Armenia. At the, after the narrative, Exornic tells us that the Aram had accomplished many great glorious deeds, which are too many to list, and reminds his reader that to this day, the neighboring peoples right. call our country Armenia after his name. That's right. Coniform sources about Aram. Mm -hmm. The coniform inscriptions mm -hmm. greatly help us to piece together as much right. better picture of Aram as a historical figure. That's right. Since the Armenian traditional mm -hmm. histo histography, right. histography mm -hmm. accredits Aram as the namesake of Armenia and the Armenians, let us try to find evidence for such a set assertion in the ancient written sources. We find the oldest recording of the name Armenia in the inscriptions of the 20, 20, uh, 2016, 20, 23rd centuries BC. It was recorded in the inscriptions of the powerful kingdom of Akkad, which arose in the 3rd millennium B.C. Mm -hmm. in central Macedonia. Armenia is recorded as Armeni, or Armenium, uh -huh. Armenium. While in the uh, Iblaic, right. Iblaic is located in the present-day right. Syria. Mm -hmm. Inscriptions of the same era, Armenia is called Army. Uh -huh. More importantly, the Attican king, right. Akkadian king, Aram Su in the inscriptions made in the 23rd century BC during the, one of his historical military incursions mentions this country of Ar Aram located between the lakes of Van and Aramia, Kupatam, Kaputa, Matapanas. This area is also mentioned 
by the same name in the cuneiform inscriptions made in the right. 21st century BC and mm -hmm. continue to be used in the Vanic or right. Rathian or Urethian inscriptions as the land of Armiali or Armorali. Mm. From the 26th century BC all the way to right. the kingdom of Van mm -hmm. Era. Uratu, the place names with the root word Aram are recorded in more than 30 different sovereign sources throughout Armenia, Thailand. However, this by no means completes our study of the cuneiform sources of subject matter. Get him. <laughs> Remains of the walls of the capital <laughs> armor work. Illuminated okay. manuscript pages from the, okay. the 16th century copy of Moa's Exornic History of the Armenian <laughs> depicted on the <laughs> left page of the father of Moses, <laughs> seated on the left of his <laughs> patron prince seated on the right. Okay, okay. Okay, Mary. The methanetum, the more is a student of ancient Marsitimus. Yeah. The statue of the warrior armed with a shield holding the training lion Sakara. Watchdog, isn't he? Uh -huh. In the inscriptions of the first half of the mm -hmm. the um, sixth century okay. BC, yes. we find information on the two of the most prominent Armenian stats, yes. states in the territory of Armenian highlands in the south, That's right. Neri, and in the north Uturi, and later is simply the Assyrio Babylonian name of the Armenian Eraratat. Ararat. This is one of the oldest names of Armenia and is was continuously used in the Assyro Babylonian inscriptions until the first half of the sixth century BC. So A A R A Y R A R A T almost like Mount Arat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Arat. Uh -huh. The last name we see the Armenians mentioned in Ur-Ritarans is found in the inscription of the uh -huh. Asmid oh, yes. King Arti yes, yes, yes. Exius II. Mm -hmm. The first uh -huh. time we find a name of the King of Arat, Ur-Ritu, in the Saren cuneiform inscriptions is that of Armu, the right. Uratian, right. between 859 to 843 BC. Aram. Uh -huh. Had uh -huh. successfully found right. of the incursions of the Assyrian king Salmanasar III, the valor of Ar Armu the Utarian had spread the uh -huh. fame of Hekazuni kingdom of Arab beyond the borders of Armenian highland. Since Uratu had become an all-encompassing name for all Armenia, the right. Assyrians continued to use the name for uh -huh. the adjoining Neri Van Bianili kingdom in the south, which by the right. time made its new capital the city of Ta. Tuspavan, the later beginning in the 830 BC, would gradually unite all Armenian highlands under the central government of the capital city of Van. Essentially, we once again see that it is due to the efforts of King Iram that the name Urartu started to be widely used 
as one of the names of Armenia. Right. To summarize, to summarize, we have seen the Aram of the House of Hake. It is the singular embodiment of several kings who had ruled between the 3rd millennium B.C. and um, the 15th or the 6th century B.C. I think that's right. His character is that of self-sacrificing hero who defends his homeland from foreign invaders. Aram defeats and punishes his adversaries by making them pay tribute and reparations for all of the damages caused as a result of their destructive invasions. Thus, in traditional Armenian history, Hake, the giant scion of primordial gods, is the patriarch of the Armenian people who gave them their name, and his offspring and successor Aram is placed as the second most popular leader, Aram. Right. Aram, with all of his attributes, is an mm. archetype of the Armenian king in mm. particular, and the embodiment of Armenian royalty in general. Uh, yes. Sources, Mao's Exonic, History of Armenia, Literature, History of Armenia, 1784. Uh, there's a lot of them there. Here, you look at them. You can look at these if you want. And you can read them because I'm not going to read them all. Okay, I'll read them. I'll read them to you. Sources, Mezek, Zonic, History, Armenian, 8, 1981, in Armenian Seedless History, Yerevan, 1790. 1979 in Armenian, Gaius and 8K Hazarian Royal Inscriptions, 1 and 2 Weisbaden, 1972 1976, a reader of the history of the Armenian people, Volume 1, Yerevan, 1981 mm -hmm. in Armenian, a reader of the history of Armenian people, Volume 1, Yerevan, 2007 in Armenian, literature. See, I'm like back. History of the Armenian, Volume 1. Venice, 1784, Yerevan, 1985, in Armenian, Lap, Yan, G, History of Iratu, Yerevan, 1940, in Armenian, Adok, and History of Armenian, Yerevan, 1972, in Armenian, P. Drozbaski, B. B. Vanek, His Kingdom, Yeratu, Moscow, 1959, in Russian, Heyo Tekeyun, N. B. Bialini, Yerevan, 1917, Russian History of the Armenian People, Armenian Academy of Science, published by one, Yerevan, 1971, in Armenian, Mozabian A. Armenia in the Third Millennium B.C., according to the written sources. Yerevan, 2005, in Armenian. <laughs> 